Senator Bill Nelson wants to strengthen security at airports across the country, but especially right here in South Florida. Yeah, it's not only about stopping terrorists, but also stopping invasive species. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live at Miami International Airport to explain this one. Christy, Constance, what a lot of people may not realize about Miami International, it's number one in the country, they say here, for the importation of wildlife. And today we find out that one out of every three of those shipments is illegal. And you might be a little shocked at some of the stuff that comes through here. Take a look at what Senator Bill Nelson was here to see today. They had this haul out on a table. There was a, the tarantula that you see in a frame was apparently brought in as a pet, a sawfish bill. There was a jaguar skin stuffed inside a pillow that they found. Snakes, yes, snakes on a plane. All of these things are either one of three things. They're either banned in this country or they may be protected wildlife uh, that can't be handled without a permit. And so all of these things that come through here have to be checked and, and nabbed. And so I want you to take a little listen to what the senator heard today. What in the world is this? Now this was brought in as a um, cargo shipment, commercial shipment. Um, they were declared as just leather boots and upon further inspection, some of the inspectors noticed something unusual about them. When they lifted it up, they realized these are crocodile skin boots. They're concealed. I see. And, and this is banned because it's crocodile? It's not necessarily banned, but you need to have permits for it. Big learning experience here today, and there, of course, is another side to security. The senator actually has uh, floated a bill in Congress very recently to expand in airports around the country, not wildlife checks, but employee checks, people who work at airports. Miami International is one of only three in the country, Miami, Orlando, and Atlanta, where they screen airport employees with access to its jets every single day and we are going to talk more about that later on on local 10 news we'll see you then i'm plena milberg live today at miami international local 10 news all right well the